My name is Audrey Dransfield and my husband and I live in Montpelier, Idaho. We live in southeastern Idaho just by a beautiful lake called Bear Lake and we have five children ages 7 to 16. My husband works in physical therapy at the hospital and I've been a stay-at-home mom for the last 16 years. At this point in my life I've just been wanting more and I've always wanted to go and get a degree after my kids started school. Montpelier is considered a really low income area. It has a lot of disadvantaged students, a lot of students who don't get the help that they might need from home because both parents are working. And they have trouble keeping teachers there for long because there's no, a lot, a lot of shopping and so forth. So it's considered a rural community with lots of farmers. Kids lose consistency. The school district has a hard time keeping teachers and I would be a stable that they could keep and that they could count on. That would be really awesome for the community. My fourth child, her name is Olivia, and when she was born we knew, well we didn't know right away that something was wrong, but by the age of maybe four or five months we noticed that she had developmental delays. And we've come to find out now that she's almost 10 years old that she has Asperger's syndrome, which is autism. She has had a lot of problems and our school district really isn't um, set up maybe to cope with the kind of instruction that she needs. So I have been in the school district helping and working with her teachers and she's come a really long way, but um, I see a lot of problems with things that could be done, even in just the normal classroom. Um, in in connection with special needs and inclusion. I could help these kids that even aren't as severe as Olivia, just be, just help them not to fall through the cracks. I really love working with kids. I like to see them progress. I like to see them achieve. I like to see their excitement for learning. And I really have been heavily involved with my own kids, even the ones that aren't disabled. While we're in school, I always go in and volunteer. I've been teaching violin for 12 years. The kids are really fun to teach. They, they seem to have a good rapport with me. They, we enjoy each other's personalities a lot. And I really enjoy seeing them progress on their violins. With the experience I've had in school, in working with Olivia, in the classroom, with my violin students, I've really learned to see how much I enjoy teaching and how fulfilling that is for me to see children progress and learn, and that's what I want to do. With Western Governors University, this, the way that they have set it up so I can stay at home in my rural community and be able to take classes online so I don't take away from my children's schedules, I can just work on it while they're at school. It's competency-based, which helps me to utilize the skills that I already know and be able to pass off classes faster, and that's really neat for me. Also, even up to the student teaching, I can just stay in my own community and get that done, and that's been very important. And, and really, where we live, it, it has to be that way, or I wouldn't be able to do it. By getting this degree from Western Governors University, I'll be able to make a difference in my community. I'll be able to make a difference in the lives of my own children, in our home life, I'll be able to contribute so much in so many ways. And the way that this program is set up and the way that my life is right now is the perfect time to do it. I hope that as people view this video that they can understand how awesome this would be for me and that they can select me to be able to go to Western Governors and get this degree that will help our whole community. Thanks.